Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here and welcome to the channel. I am really missing out when I don't cover these women games in Gibraltar. So this is what I'm going to do right now. In round nine, we have two women against each other and what a better game to go for. Anna Muzichuk versus Antoinette Stefanova. And let's see how fast you can start and finish a game such as this one. Anna White went for an E4 opening and Stefanova replies with a car roll. So D4, D5 and now E5. Stefanova tries the most normal moves. Knight F3 takes and takes. Led to this knight to come out. And when both knights came off, if you know this variation, you also know what to go for. This is what needs to be done. And this is what Muzichu played. When G7 opened up, we also knew what was coming next. Stefanova wants to go after this guy on E5. But we also know how easy it is to cover him. There is F4. There is this bishop to cover. Or there is castles. And if black goes for him, there is also an additional move, a rook move to E1. And his job done. Muzichuk went for short. And when the bishop came out, Muzichuk responded with this rook move to cover. Knight to the rim, and now this bishop move, and you know it's not about playing well, but notably playing bad or very inaccurate. Most of the games we see when people lose is because of a major blunder or simply bad play. And it starts already here when black went for this response. At first sight, this queen exit to b6 seems attractive because she's eyeballing this guy on b2. And if anything, Mozichuk is no pushover. What she did was to go for this move, ignoring or hoping actually that Stefanova would take. If you take, there is knight c3 which also explains why the queen moved to d2 and now this queen might be in trouble and this in fact is what you call a poison pawn because for simplicity reasons if you go for queen a3 for example what if you try this knight b5 and when this knight is removed after bishop takes bishop d7 and bishop takes if you take this bishop once the queen comes in with this check, who is now busted? If you get your king to back off to the back rank, you can forget it. There is this queen takes check and it's game over. If you choose to go for this king move instead, the game is finished even faster. After the rook elevates the square, you can even sit on this and work out the ending, which is no less than spectacular. Okay, back to our game. Antoinette did not take, but went for this knight move. And when the knight was developed, a5, inviting the knight to attack the queen. And he does. Queen d4 was making this worse. Okay, it creates a small problem for white and what to do with this knight. Coming back to c3 is possible, but better is what Muzichuk did. When this knight was covered, Stefanova pushed on with this guy and probably wants to stick the bishop in here to get rid of the get rid of this bishop and take control of this diagonal. When the queen was attacked, I don't even think Stefanova has the time to think about what to do on the H file. She rushed to get the queen out of trouble. And when she went for this move, c4 which is a very sound response takes and takes and this bishop here is going to cause plenty of trouble having abandoned a plan on the h file black castled and when the rook rushed to get behind the queen any ideas what it's best to do here it's not hard bishop a6 and the idea is to rush and get one of these two rooks to go after the queen this is how Anna decided to do things. 
And when these two bishops came off, this is what Stefanova does. Does anyone know what this queen move does? Okay, I see it now. She probably is going to rush to get the queen off or try and get the queens to come off. When the rook rushed behind the queen, just to support and also to provoke a response to cover this guy on c6, after this rook came into cover e6, he's begging to be played, and yes, Mozichuk has no problem seeing it. Go for f6, and this bishop is rendered useless. So what black does is exactly this, and now renders this bishop off sight. Rook d1, and now g5, going after this bishop, did even make Anna blink. It's all about this potential attack on the queen. And for now, this attack on the bishop on f4 can be ignored, or at least for now. Here, white can go for this queen attack on the knight, but rather has something better, but instead goes directly for the queen. And only now the queen rushes into b5 with the hope Anna's going to trade. Should she? Well, she didn't, but this is what Anna goes for, hoping that Antoinette will go for the queen, but she doesn't. She went for this rook move, but what on earth is this rook doing here and why? If she worried e7 would fall, this knight is doing an excellent job covering him. Once his position was reached, anything Mozichu goes for is winning unless she goes for something really stupid. But even here, we don't even have a stupid move to go for. She went for this knight move, which is in fact a trap. But can you see what this trap is all about and how can Anna take advantage of it? Well, before you can take any advantage of any trap, you have to go for it. And this is what Antoinette does. She works out if this bishop comes off, when this rook takes, this knight also falls, and this will be easier than it looks. And this is what Mozichuk was thinking Antoinette will do, and in fact she does. But before we go for what she went for, can you see this variation beforehand? It doesn't really matter if you can't, but it's much better if you can try and work it out. And this is how the game went. When the rook took... There was no rook takes, but queen takes first. And when the queen was captured, after the rook was also taken, this was it. After the bishop was forced back, there can either be this rook moved to e5, or what Anna did, and this was good enough and moved to force resignation. After rook takes and knight takes, you cannot hold this game and this is why we saw this resignation. And this is how easy Anna makes it look today. She still remains unbeaten, and with yet another invaluable point under her belt, she's cruising. With this important win, can she be the one winning this tournament? Well, there are a few others who are going to try and stop her, but theoretically, she can. She can win this one and she's in it to win it. I shall return with more, so until then, this was your Chess Puzzler.